Hello and welcome back. Here to continue a playthrough of Mass Effect 3. Can I talk to this? Oh. Good dog. Good dog, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we were doing some missions out in the galaxy and uh, last time met Samara <laughs> and went to the Ardat Yakshi temple or monastery and uh, some stuff happened so basically banshees are a reaperized Ardat Yakshi or at least uh, Asari and so we, n now I know where those came from uh, they're really creepy still of course but managed to get a whole bunch of them down last time unfortunately we lost one of Samara's daughters to them. Uh, the other one is presumably living on her own, and I think Samara is part of our war assets now. The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Sounded like quite an ordeal getting that Turian reactor up and running. I've been through worse. Well, glad you were able to get some help from Captain Ryler's team. Sometimes I forget we aren't all alone in this war. I can't believe Cerberus would open fire on civilians like that. As twisted and insane as his logic might be, I thought the elusive man was trying to save humanity. I guess he's willing to sacrifice anyone to win. Is everything okay, Shepard? Hello, Commander. Right, because we did a few missions last time, so just catching up on some of the comments. Hey, Okay, I think everyone else was covered. So right now I'm going to go and uh, save some scientists. There are some ex-Cerberus scientists that need saving. So I'm going to see if, what I can do about that. Uh, right now I'm, live. I'm in the Masana system. Um, hang on. Let's see if there's anything to scan in this system. This might be a unique one because this one has a mission, so it doesn't let you, or there's nothing to scan. Excellent. Uh, I still, I still would have liked if the mouse sensitivity on on scanning was a little better. Makes me have to. <laughs> lift my mouse off several times just to scroll okay there it is library of asha okay good that was something i needed requests and that's the should be the only thing in this system If I can make it to Kalini. Okay, so there's one, two, three planets. I think I might be able to get all of them if I scan from here. Oh. All right, let's investigate this. Okay. 100 units of fuel, and that's everything, and we're out. <laughs> Faster than light jump successful. Now, 25%. I think I only got one item out of here so far. Let's get this. 
were not quite uh, discovered yet. 50%. So let's do this planet and then the lower corner. Ooh, plot map. Got that mass relay jump just in time. Uh, locate secret artifact. Uh, this is the Exerber scientist. Um, we'll go here and first because it's kind of on the path. Although it, it all doesn't really matter because it's all getting uh, yeeted across the galaxy anyway. Let's just buy some fuel. Ah, locate secret artifact. Oh no, this is Thessia. My bad. Again, I think this is because this has a mission. And then I don't need to worry about scanning. Okay, so let's go and find those ex server scientists. All right, here is good. Found it. There's some credits. Uh, that's uh, there's still one more thing to find. Uh oh, Reverse and we'll eluded. we'll just get out of here for now. Find those scientists. All right, let's land. Uh, ex Cerberus scientists. Who do I want to bring? See, I brought Liara and Javik last time. I think I'll want to bring Edie And f just for good measure, let's bring let's bring Caden. I think. All right, gonna change this back to the. Talon. Piercing as well as power damage. And this one will be the Blood Pack Punisher, of course. Uh, gonna save these four points for next level of incinerate. And same for him with barrier. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have not been provided many details. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down then get out of here. I need these scientists alive.
Oh, hey, it's Jacob. Maybe he's leading this little defection. Uh oh, he's hit. Ah, oh, he's hit. Uh, is he gonna be okay? Improve. Hopefully, we don't just get here and he's and he's immediately dead. Uh, I'm going to put. Put the two overloads on my bar, but I can what definitely use. We'll do to bring this down on their heads. Yeah, we can't hold them much longer. Right, going in. You, you dodgy little Cerberus jerk. Guess I should have done that first. Uh, hello? Who's there? Hey Jacob, what's up? Long time. Jacob? How bad? I'll live. I think. This is Bren. Is there anyone there? This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now. But they'll be back. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah. I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. 
Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. You know, we say that with eight meta gels. <laughs> Join me upstairs when you can. Jacob did not recognize me. This may be an opportunity to surprise him. Let's just focus on the mission, Edie. Dr. Brown, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Dr. Archer, oh, okay. Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes, well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. Okay, you know what? The... I'm, I might as well just let him know that David's okay. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students. But David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. Uh, for anyone not in the know, he... In Mass Effect 2, in the Overlord mission, he hooked up his brother to a machine to sort of create a a human VI hybrid, but of course that was torture for his brother. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element, not a monster who tortured his own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. I have to go. And I'm not even going to pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. All right, so it's a bit of resolution there. Why do I get the feeling that this was here just so that he's going to going to die? Just like at the end of this mission, it's going to die, possibly. Uh, got some credits. Private message from Horus to Bryn. Bryn, I don't like this. I've managed to get eyes on some of the research the other others were doing and I'm getting a sense of the big picture here beyond anything we could have imagined in our, in our worst nightmares kind of imagined uh, I'm going to start sabotaging my work that's how bad it is we need to meet up and talk ASAP H okay so Guess we're going through here. I don't know. I thought bringing Caden might be good here because uh, he's anti Cerberus, so I thought he might have some commentary here. There's a weapon bench, assault rifle magazine upgrade. Oh, look at all this metagel. I think Jacob would have been just fine. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. 
What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. Pretty fancy covert op you orchestrated. When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? A dangerous choice. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. Yeah, it's like expecting decency. You know, if if they were expecting even like a modicum of decency and that's the, not the way to go about it with Cerberus, I guess. There's a lot on the line. We can't let this that distract us. Yeah. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You win? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. Dude, get no some way. meta gel. <laughs> Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Uh, fine. But I'm going to talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Can, can, can someone please get that man some metagel? He's like walking around with an open chest wound. <laughs> relationship with Jacob. We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. What kind of work did you do? Until the elusive man. It was a risk. The elusive man spared. That technical perfection. It also strange to think. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. So I guess they're hacking up as much research as they can. Before they go, personal log doc. Uh, Bryn Cole. With Jacob's help, we have managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were in fact killed. 
Contracts terminated is what Cerberus called it. Makita, Scott, Daniel, Chunhei, and Nika, and so many others I didn't even know about. All of them gone, disappeared without a trace, just like that. We should have left sooner. I don't know why we waited so long. I can't remember what seemed so important that we had to just stay had to stay just one more day. What was I thinking? Okay. Okay, this all seems genuine at least. God damn it, Marcus. You want the elusive man to find this stuff? Of course not. That's why we ran. We can't just leave it for him. I guess that is part of it is they uh, it's not just about packing up and packing up valuables and taking them away. It's making sure that it doesn't fall into elusive man's hands. Someone said they're not willing to die to save the data. Of course, Dabini Singupta. Attempts are going, ongoing at figuring out what the end product of our research was meant for. While it is obvious that the delivery system was to be implant reliant with evident neurological applications, uh, many questions remain as of yet unanswered. The loss of Dr. Horace Armstrong is particular. In particular, uh, I have trouble reading, uh, is hindering our efforts to speedily reconstruct the nature of the elusive man's goals. We have several parts of the whole which lead us to chilling conclusions, but we are nowhere near figuring out what said whole might be, and that is what scares me the most. Okay. Oh, there's a mod here. So we came up through here. Some kind of poison. Tailored to Turians. Oh, okay. So this is something that I needed for uh, the Citadel. A Turian poison. Shepherd. Yep. Hang on, just looking around for loot. Credits. Outpost report, Jacob Taylor. Outpost now 48% operational. We've reorganized some of the storage rooms around the central core, turning them into living units in order to save power. Uh, the outer areas are all condemned now, which should provide us with a buffer should Cerberus agents find us. The guns are functional, but I don't like how exposed they are. I'm going to look into finding us... Some shielding on the black market. Okay. Hey, you okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? It's a long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals, I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. How long have you known Brit? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um, if these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life, whatever's left of it. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working in a place like this? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything and sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard, the Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with you sometimes. 
but you won't. You can't. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. All right. And we always knew that Jacob was, you know, had good intentions in mind. He, he never never really fully trusted the elusive man. If Jacob says we're going to be all right, I trust him. But my daughter, she's just a baby. I wouldn't say he was blind, but maybe a little naive. A hastily assembled militia is no match for a service force of any kind. All right, gonna save it, and let's start heading out and disabling or in. I think we're uh, fixing the AA guns. Satellite console. Uh, Carnifex, okay, that was a good one back in Mass Effect 2. Make sure I activate my ammo abilities. Gonna put disruptors, I guess. Actually, speaking of which, what? Well, how are my abilities? I do have squad ammo. Alright, working well so far. Moving up. We must locate the satellite tower. I hear people. Don't see them yet. Oops, I ran into a grenade. <laughs> okay, Carnifex. Oh, that didn't even trigger them. Overloaded it. Okay. 
All right, take out all their shields at once and start. Good, good stuff. Right, his, right up his butt. We must locate the satellite tower. Taking a look for loot. We must locate the satellite tower. There's a lot of clips here. A lot of shield pylons too. Okay. Well, there were a lot of clips, but no loot. Okay, so I think we've got that one piece there, and then keep going. Jacob, uh, this should be back online now. Affirmative, but the guns are still down. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back to the front of the facility. Hostiles incoming! Oh, okay, of course. I guess what those... Hmm, I'm wondering how if it doesn't, didn't seem like I can shoot that gun away. I know.
It looks like there's some, still someone on that gun. Auto save, good. Oh, uh, the ladder's not not retracted. Oh, okay, I have to go up this one first, I guess. Credits and experience. Level up. Nice. Uh, I'm expecting that we're going to have some more fight on our hand because <laughs> we can take control of that. Failure at junction. Repair and reset. Oh, going to need okay. someone to repair. Has to make these repairs. Let's, I need you to fix this. Let's have I will it. make the repairs. Ready, Caden? Just you and me. Bring it on. All right. I bet I can't use the radar. The guns may now be brought online. Gotcha. I'm on it. Okay. I think that's okay. it. The guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We can go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that can strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Uh, since I'm not sure what this entails, I'm gonna say not yet. Uh, Wait for my go. You can begin the evacuation from the command terminal. Got it. I think this is just uh, allowing us to get additional. Look for all the loot possible, which I think we have. 
So unless there's something else, I think I'm actually good to go on the evacuation. So Jacob didn't have anything more to say. Just see if see if Bryn has anything new. The evacuation is progressing. Is there anything else? Don't you think you put these people in serious danger? They wouldn't have it any other way. Science must never bow to tyranny. We didn't escape just to go into hiding. We wanted to build a new life where we could live and work on our terms. Love, family, they're all part of that. Even now. Otherwise, what are we fighting for? Don't you think you put these people in serious danger? They wouldn't have it. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on. Thank you again for everything. All right, I think we've got everything. So let's uh, evacuate. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Reminds of Star Wars. I got one of the guns. Cerberus troops are. Get those people out of here. Yes, I should have expected much as much. <laughs> All right, we're running. Let's go, people. Workbench is offline. So we can bring the door up, then get out to the landing pad. Understood. Uh, door closed. Ed is down, so let's see if I can. That's uh, inconvenient. Hold them a little longer. 
Just shot him in the knee. Another one of those uh, phantoms. That was the last of the civilians. Understood. Defend shuttles. Commander, we got company. Oh Command boy. Company. Let's turn on. Jacob, hang tight. We'll clear you a landing zone. Disruptors. Hack that turret. Overload this. And then start laying into this. They're gonna just take a second to regenerate. Do that, and that. Jacob, landing area Ooh. cleared. This place is crawling. We're bringing the shuttle to you. Roger that. 800 XP. Nice. Tango, Tango, Delta squads are on the ground. Oh, there were still so many surfers. Shepard. Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive, but because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request, one you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reavers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service, and I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, Drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Hack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Fantastic. We've got a lot of uh, ex Cerberus scientists and Jacob as part of the war assets, I believe. Uh, it's been a while since I looked at this. Elcor Flotilla. Citadel Defense Force. Ex-Cerberus. Here it is. 
Service Research Data, Advanced Fighter Squadron, Ex-Service Scientists, not bad, Dr. Bryn Cole, Dr. Gavin Archer, and Jacob Taylor. Okay, I thought that actually Gavin Archer might not have made it out there, but uh, I'm glad we got pretty much everyone out there. Oh yeah, here's the Geth Core Fleet and the Prime Platoon. We saved Admiral Chorus, Civilian Fleet, Heavy Fleet, Patrol Fleet. Right. Okay. So, got another decently sized mission out of the way. I think I'm really liking the, the new loadout with the Chrysa and Blood Pack Punisher as my sidearm. Okay, so Caden's looking for us. Uh, he's in the crew quarters. Uh, hang on. Just going to check messages. Reporting in from Lee Riley. Okay, this is from the fuel reactor. Squad continues to, to defend the fuel reactor on Sion. Uh, the Reapers seem intent on taking it down, not on my watch. We will hold the line. Uh, Kira Hay would like you. <laughs> uh, poor guy. Thinks they'll be a big help on the crucible. First Prism mm -hmm. Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. You're turning into a regular Marine. Yeah. Well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Good work, trainer. Commander. Mm hmm Uh, I think Caden's in one of these observation decks. I think this is the lounge. Okay, so he's probably in the other one. Gonna save. Ah, he's in the actual crew quarters for change. Hey, what's going on? You got a minute? Sure, Caden. What's up? You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh-oh. Okay, hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team seem like, like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if there are more like them trapped inside Cerberus struggling to get out? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many, the choice to leave someone behind until you're in that moment. I... So, yeah, you know. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help, no matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough, but it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once. Ever? Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right, exactly. But so you never saw this coming from him. From him. Sorry. I'm not sure what I want you to say here. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. Yeah, I, I think... I I think I'd rather say don't dwell on him. Does it matter what he was, Caden? What good he may have done in the past? He's become power hungry. He's deluded and wrong. But this? No. I never saw this coming from him. <clears throat> okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. I know. 
Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. See you around. You bet. Also, that brings up an uh, interesting... Hey, if you get a moment, we should head out to the Citadel for a snack. I know a place that uh, still has steak. I thought we still had... I thought we already had steak. <laughs> I should get back to this report. I'll catch you later, Shepard. Okay, thanks. All right. Now... Are you sure you want to play this game? What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is, though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought up a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had. Now, I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was the Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. Trading war stories, it seems. Hey, Commander. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Don't mind us. Just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. How's it going? All right. And, you know, with that, that Jacob mission, presumably uh, Miranda's going to have something for us to do involving her sister. And, you know, she's a defector, too, effectively. Feeling okay, Commander? Feeling okay, Commander? Okay, yep. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that, too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard... That for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega. Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill them by myself. Two worm necks, that's almost impressive. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. <laughs> Do the Alliance teach you to make up crap like that? Or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a given. Oh, these two. Go and had it. They would. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. Uh, I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Ooh. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Oh, I guess they just, like, thought they'd go out in a blaze of glory? And hopefully take a Reaper with them? Ooh, that's a... Email from Jacob Taylor to Bryn Cole. I miss you, Bryn, but I'm glad you're back there. The fighting's going to get tough when we push out with the Crucible. I've gotten the cold shoulder from people who know I used to work for Cerberus. Can't say I blame them, especially after what happened on the Citadel. I've been able to teach other soldiers how Cerberus fights, though. They may be wearing new equipment, but I know their tactics. I love you, Bryn. Take care of yourself. Okay. Just a personal message. Oh, the art actually doesn't have anything to say. Excellent find, Commander. The information network terminal has been updated. Oh, maybe there's something new? Intel from the Battle of Arcturus. Let's do that. Uh, weapon damage. 
shields and weapon damage improved geth resistors oh these are things that i found in the field so shield strength power damage power damage i'm mostly going to get um offensive stuff so that i can galay's electronic signature oh i think i got a bunch of these recently store discount bonus oh that would have been good earlier <laughs> power damage bonus okay Miniaturized armor capacitors. Shield bonus. Power recharge speed. Yes. Great. Thank you, Glyph. And thank you for reminding me, especially. Been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. See what's going on in engineering. See if Tally has anything to say. Okay, toughest mission. Horizon. No fair, I hadn't joined up with you yet. Fine, the Dead Reaper then. Really? The husks just ran up to us. Have you ever noticed that I carry a sniper rifle and you're the one who likes things at short range? And you prefer to keep everything at a distance. Exactly. Wait, what? Creepiest thing we fought. The Thorian. But wait, what did you mean? I didn't mean anything. I'm going with the Rakdai. The Queen? But we didn't fight her either time. No, the little ones. They look like spiders and they scuttle right toward you. I thought you liked it when things got up close and personal. I guess it depends on who it is. Oh? <laughs> You got a little thing going? Talk to you later. Oh. Oh, cold shoulder. Commander. Nothing to report. Dang, Tally. Gotta... Uh, I'm falling down tired. I need a folding chair or something. Huh. Second Star Broadcasting is headhunting me. I liked their Garbuck story, but seriously, I'm on the Normandy. And I think I'm just going to leave Javik behind because Grumpy Pants is grumpy. Maybe I'll talk to him later. <laughs> uh, last, I'm just going to check in on Joker before I sign out. Dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous. The Krogan says, you think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. Um, not wrong there, actually. Actually, they're, they're both right in their own way. How's Jacob? He'll be okay. Oh, glad to hear it. Nice to see those server scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Glad we got out early. Commander? What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, 
a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. Hello, Shepard. Edie having really advanced theoretical physics talks. <laughs> anyway, uh, got a whole lot of that done. Got a whole bunch of ex Cerberus scientists on our side working on the Crucible now. And we're another step closer to beating the Reapers. Uh, so next time I'll probably get going on some more of those uh, Citadel scavenger hunt missions. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and have a good one.